The 5,930-acre Ankara Bulava and Akatrika forest in southeastern Madagascar is very important for biodiversity conservation. In 2003, the site was identified as a priority area for plant conservation on account of its diverse flora that includes many threatened and locally endemic species. For example, this lovely flower belongs to a species of Macrostelia that is new to science and currently known only from this forest. These are the strange fruits of Polysias lancifolia that is known only from a small part of southeastern Madagascar. And these remarkable bird-like flowers come from a small tree called Silvishadzia grandidieri. This is known just from the Ankarobulava and Akatrika forest and one other protected area. The forest provides habitat too for several threatened animal species, including the endangered white-collared brown lemur that is shown here, and a species of mouse lemur that is thought to be new to science. In addition, the forest is important to local people because it provides timber for the construction of traditional houses, and several rivers have their origin within its boundaries. This photo shows rice fields that are irrigated with water from the forest. Furthermore, being the last remaining area of natural vegetation in this district, it is the only location where local people can remain in contact with their natural heritage. However, despite its value, the forest is highly threatened, and in the last two decades it has been fragmented and much diminished in area due to conversion by land-hungry farmers. In 2009, the Monsieur Botanical Garden launched a community-based conservation project to conserve this forest. This objective was very challenging because its limits include the plots of some 70 subsistence farmers. These farmers have traditional occupancy rights to their plots of land within the forest, but it is illegal for them to extend their fields. This situation is satisfactory neither for these farmers nor for those who wish to conserve this forest. Without being able to regularly shift their crops in response to declining soil fertility, harvests are falling and the farmers are being forced to resort to desperate means to obtain their livelihoods, such as accidental fires that allow them to extend their culture. Thus, little by little, agriculture is being expanded into the forest. Normally, under such circumstances, the protected area managers would seek to punish those responsible for such infractions. But in this case, we feel uncomfortable in pursuing the judicial process against poor farmers who are merely trying to feed their families. In 2013, in an effort to seek an alternative to conflict between the farmers and the conservation managers of Ankaro Bulava and Katriki, we worked with local stakeholders, including those occupying the forest, to conceive a win-win solution for all parties. The project that emerged from this process proposed that farmers within the forest would be offered the opportunity to exchange their land for productive registered land outside of the proposed reserve. The abandoned land within the forest would be classified as part of the new protected area and allowed to naturally regenerate. This photo shows a former agricultural field that, now abandoned, is regenerating as forest. This project was made possible with the support of three donors, the IUCN National Committee of the Netherlands, Saving Species and the Helmsley Conservation Trust. We are very grateful to them. Work is just beginning on this project, but I will keep you informed of progress.